Good morning, children. How are you all? Are you fine? Okay. Now, we finished one lesson already. Okay. So, in our science, one lesson is over. Acids, bases and salts. Okay. Where we use acids, where we use bases, where we use salts. What are the properties of acids, bases, salts? How can we know a given substance is acid, base or salt using indicators? Characteristics of acids, bases, salts and uses, everything was over. Right? Now, today, in this session, we are entering into another lesson. In our 7th class science syllabus, this is in your textbook 4th lesson. The lesson is motion and time. Okay, now let us see first. When we see an object, it may be appearing as a solid, as a liquid or as a gas. You may say we cannot see gases, right? But we can feel the heat of it, right? So, those solid, liquid, gas are called physical states of matter. In the sense, how they are appearing to see that is so called physical state. Their structure in single sentence. Okay. Now, these two words, rest and motion, these are called the states of being of a substance. Being in the sense, how they are. Are they at rest or are they in motion? Only one state is possible. If an object is at rest, it is not moving. If it is moving, we cannot call it as rest. Right? So, either rest or motion. That's why, we say these two are relative. These two are not relatives to each other. Relative in the sense, comparable quantities, those two are. How can we compare? Let us see first, what is the definition of rest and motion in science? With respect to our science, rest in the sense, no change in the position with respect to time and surroundings. For example, our school building. Last year it was there. Before last year it was there. Now it is there. There is no change in the position of our school building with respect to time. Two, three years. Surroundings. Look at the surroundings. They are not changed. It is at rest. It's not moving. Right? Motion in the sense change in the position with respect to time and surroundings again. You come to school daily. You go to home daily. So you are coming from your home to school. And from school you will be leaving home again. So there is a change in position of yourselves. There are so many routes that you will be coming towards school. So whenever you look at time. It takes some time from your home to come to school. And from school to go home. Right? So whenever you look at the time. As the time changing. With respect to the surroundings, after 10 seconds, you may be at some other position. After 2 minutes, you may be at some other position. So, your position will be keeping on changing. So, in any case, in any object, whenever we see there is no change in the position with respect to time and surroundings, then we can say that the object is at rest. Okay? Look at this. This board from the beginning of the class, it is at rest. Its position is unchanged. Look at me. My hands are moving. I am moving here and there. So as per the time is progressing, my hands and legs are moving now. So I am in motion. Right? Now, general examples like riding your bicycle. See, in that also, we can observe two things. Rest and motion in a single sentence. I mean, single situation. With respect to you, you will not move. Right? You are sitting on the seat comfortably. But... When any other person observes, you will be moving along with your bicycle. Right? So, with respect to you, you are at rest on the cycle. With respect to other, you are at motion along with the cycle. Same, rowing a boat, the person who is sitting in the boat, he will be rowing just with the hands. He, he will not move forward and come back to row the boat. Right? Okay? But when any person looks at that boat, the boat moves and the person also moves. Okay. Now, swing. A swing. Whenever a child is sitting or someone is sitting in the swing, they won't move. Then what moves? The swing moves. 
Okay, child is at rest with respect to the child themselves. Then whenever other person is looking at the child, child is moving forward and coming backward along with the swing. So the child is in motion. That's what I said. Rest and motion are relative. They are comparable quantities. The rest and motion changes as per the observer. Who is observing it? From where they are observing? That makes matter different. And moving car. This is another better example. If two persons are sitting in a car, you look at each other, you will feel that you are at rest. Right? You are not moving in a car, no. But if someone sees from outside any observer, according to that observer, you are in motion along with the car and you will be traveling with the speed that is equal to your car speed. Okay? So, with respect to the co-passengers, you both are at rest. With respect to any person who is out of the car, observing from outside, you are in motion. I hope it is clear. Right? Now, let us see different types of motions. Translatory motion, total object will be moving, like coming back to our riding a bicycle. Total bicycle will move. It's not that handle will be at one place, hand will be at one place, tires will be moving. Right? Total object moves. But in this movement, there are some different situations. It can be either rectilinear or curvilinear. In the sense, it will be going only in the straight line. But always you cannot go forever in the straight line, right? You need to take left and right, some curved paths, so that is what curvy linear. Whenever you go to any hill stations, there will be ghat roads which will be, always they will be curvy linear. If it is rectilinear, you will be going and hitting a wall, right? So, whenever the object is moving only just in a straight line, like light traveling, it's called rectilinear. Whenever the object is moving along a curved path, then it is called curvy linear motion. Okay? Next is coming to rotatory motion. So now I hope rectilinear and curvy linear are fine, right? Okay. Coming to rotatory. Rotate. Like merry-go-round. Like joint wheel. Okay? Not like Columbus. It's like merry-go-round or joint wheel. Moving around. Like planets move around the sun. That is rotatory motion. I tell you a simple difference between rotatory and circular motion. In rotatory, it's not needed to maintain same radius like egg shape. Circular, like circle, always radius same. Okay, we come back to that later. Now, the major difference between linear and rotatory motion is rotatory motion is a closed path. Like the blades of a fan, they move in circle. Because the radius is fixed, length of the blade is fixed. No fan will have three or four blades with the different different sizes. Right? Okay. So when the fan is switched on, of course if the power is available, it starts moving. Slowly it increases its speed and once it comes to its maximum speed, it just makes its rounds with the same speed. What I said? Makes rounds. That is rotatory motion. It's happening in a closed path, whereas the translatory motion takes place in an open path. It's not closed. It's either rectilinear or curvilinear. It's not a closed path. Open path it is. Okay. These are very important two types of motions. Still we have so many. That comes next. Next, coming to another important topic that is uniform motion. Uniform in the sense, same, being same. Why a school has uniform in the sense to say that all the students are equal to the school. That is the reason behind keeping a uniform to school. Okay. Uniform motion in the sense we take same time interval. Interval in the sense same gap. And in every same gap of interval if an object is covering same distances equal distances then we can say that the object is maintaining uniform motion. Make sure that any number of intervals you take, not even one time, the number of distance covered, something like the problem you get, it should not be different. Okay? This number should not be different. I mean the difference. Zero seconds to one second. One second difference. One to two. One second. 
टू टू थ्री थ्री टू फोर ऑलवेज इंटरवेल टाइम गैप सेम वन सेकेंड गैप यूर मेन्टेन नाउ लुक एट द डिफरेंस इन द डिस्टेंसेस ट्वेंटी माइनस जीरो इज ट्वेंटी फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्सटी माइनस फोर्टी एटी माइनस सिक्सटी ऑलवेज फॉर एवरी वन वन सेकेंड गैप some object here is covering 20 20 20 20 meters okay so here the same time interval is maintained this is very important you cannot change the interval once you start your observation for every 1 second it should be forever 1 second not sometime for 1 second next for 5 seconds you cannot change like that then in that same interval of time if at all equal distances are covered you can say that the object is maintaining uniform motion now look at this non uniform same time interval here also time interval should not change but the object may be covering different distances like just now i told uh, wings of fan once you switch on in some 4 5 seconds it may make 5 6 rounds only but once it comes into full swing same 5 seconds you observe it makes many rounds so interval is same same 5 5 seconds you just take when a vehicle started for first 10 15 20 seconds it covers less distance because the engine should get the pick up speed should be increased gear should be changed once it comes into the top gates just for the, as you observed for the first 10 seconds now you observe 10 seconds definitely now in the top gear it covers more distance that's what given here same 1 1 second gap but 20 minus 0 Is twenty, fifty minus twenty, thirty, seventy minus twenty. Sorry, fifty is twenty. So maybe it may be increasing or decreasing. It doesn't matter. If the road is fine, like you entered into the national highway, definitely the speed may be increased. Some uh, somehow you got some speed breakers or toll plaza or the road is not good, traffic jam. You entered into the service road, then definitely speed decreases. So distance cover decreases. I'm not telling about increasing in the distance. For decreasing in the distance number, it's about change, not same difference. If the difference is same, it is uniform motion. If it is not same, then it is non-uniform motion. Okay, you just can uh, observe in your textbook your latest two activities five, six, seven, eight. These are very, very, very simple daily life situations. Five, six, seven, eight. Try to complete those ones. They are all related to these matters which are written in the board. and you can imagine some situations i tell you an example never ever our journey will be uniform right any journey either you walk or you talk sometimes we'll be talking a little bit faster we we club the words sometimes we'll be talking slower the so called intonations so everything will be non uniform in our daily regular daily life journeys okay certain some fixed ones mostly machinery ones will be maintaining uniform motion okay like that you observe some situations where we get uniform motion non uniform motion like this translatory straight line motions curved line motions then rotatory motions all the things are listed down there you just make a note of them what type of motion it is and if possible you can write how can you conform suppose this is fan blade rotatory how can you say like that you can mention the reason also follow the video follow the questions try to answer the questions and more importantly don't go out stay home stay safe thank you